Hello. I'm Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. By the way, if you're trying to learn DaVinci Resolve, I have a master training where we go through all the basics of how Resolve works from simple edits all the way to color correction to compositing, everything about Resolve. You can download footage and follow along. Make sure to check it out. There's a link in the description. Today, we're doing something really basic, turning the clip black. <laughs> Today, we're doing something really basic, turning a clip black and white, which is a form of color grading, which Resolve happens to be the bomb at. Let's take a look. Here I have a clip of Lady Walking. Ladywalking.mov, mm, so good. And this clip's okay, it's all right. Like, it's decent, but it would be better, for whatever reason, in black and white. If you're unfamiliar with Resolve, there's this toolbar down here with a bunch of buttons. And each of these buttons switches out the pages in Resolve. Right now we're in the edit page, which is where you do all your editing, but there's one here called the color page. If you click on color, that'll switch everything into color mode. Using this color mode, we can adjust the colors. <laughs> if you're totally unfamiliar with color correction, check out this video right here. It talks all about it. But a couple tips for changing things black and white. The easiest way to make something black and white is just to turn down the saturation, which you can do down here in the lower left hand corner under these color wheels. There's a little number that says 50. It's right by SAT. If you take that 50 and drag it all the way to the left, Look what happens. It's black and white, kids. No problem. Shut up, train. Train, shut up. Train, I'm trying to do a video. So this is black and white, so we've done our job, but if you want it to be cool, if you want to be some of the cool kids, you won't just turn this black and white, but you'll actually up the contrast a little bit, which I like to do in the curves. If you've ever used Photoshop or anything like that, these curves work exactly the same. Basically a graph of the darkest to lightest pixels, and if you push any part of the graph down, it darkens that part of the image. So if I were to push the middle part down, that makes the midtones darker. If I were to push it up, it makes it brighter. So if we want to brighten the highlights, let's say, we can grab this part towards the top and push it up. And if we want to make the darker parts a little bit darker, we can push the darker parts down. And there we have increased contrast, which I think looks pretty nice for black and white clips. You could even go maybe a little further and take this lower black point here and push that down even more. And you could really dial this into a look you like. This is a look I like. So that's pretty cool, right? Most of the time that's gonna do what you want. Here's one more bonus tip though. If I disable this, notice there's different colors here in this clip and we can actually change the brightness of certain colors. For instance, here behind my curves, I have a bunch of these little dots. This fourth dot over is called hue versus luminance. What this does is it makes things brighter or darker depending on what color they are. So let's say we want the trees to be a little bit brighter. We can grab here in this yellowish greenish place where trees live and make a dot. We can make a dot where we don't want to change things around here. And we can boost up the brightness of this specific color. Now, what I should have done is do this on another node. Ugh. Up here in my nodes, I'm just going to select this. If you don't know what the heck nodes are, it's okay. Just hit shift S. And this is basically just going to do stuff before we do our black and white stuff. So here's our black and white, just clicking on the number to turn it off and on. Here's our fanciness. Okay but we can make our adjustment here in this hue versus luminance curve, and we can boost up the brightness of the trees or darken them down. And we can really get detailed with what parts are brighter versus darker. And that will change how our black and white image looks. You can see I can adjust kind of the brightness of that foliage. So just something to play around with. You don't have to desaturate everything. You have a little more control than that. And then of course, once we're done with our color, we can always go back to our edit just by clicking on the edit page here. Now we have our black and white clip all colored in our timeline. Nice, right? So there you go. That's how to make a clip black and white inside of Resolve. If you want to learn more about color grading and such, whoosh, here's a basics video on all of that. It'll teach you how it works and why to do things and what the heck the color wheels and stuff are and what other stuff is too, probably. Well, mostly just color stuff because that's what the video is about.